There's a lot to celebrate this year for the Roloff family, including Amy Roloff's first Christmas with husband Chris Merrick, and the Little People Big World star gave followers a glimpse at their festive decor. Our Christmas tree and decorations are up and candles are lit. Amy captioned a photo of her and Chris expertly decorated Christmas tree on her Instagram stories on Sunday, December 12th. We're having good friends over, now we just have to get cooking. The reality TV star also shared a photo of her Willow Tree nativity figurines. The reason for Christmas, she wrote. While the TLC star has shared Christmas with Chris before even posing as Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus in 2020, this will be their first year as a married couple. The pair said I do this summer on August 28th in front of 146 of their closest friends and family, including her four children, Jeremy, Zach, Molly and Jacob, whom she shares with ex-husband Matt. Amy and Matt divorced in 2016 after 29 years together, and while it hasn't always been a smooth road for the exes, it seems that Amy and Matt are now on great terms. It's a part of our life, Amy told Us Weekly in a story published on November 14th about her decision to film her divorce from Matt. It's not a fun part of life, but I tried to limit that exposure as much as possible or as best as I could because we're doing a reality show, but I don't think people need to know every little personal intimate detail either, she said. You have to own it, you have to keep some of it to yourself, she added. Matt offered Rolla Farms as the location for her nuptials with Chris and built a beautiful new barn for the ceremony. While Matt and his girlfriend Karen Chandler did not attend the happy occasion, the newlyweds invited them over for dinner on September 18th as a thank you. Karen and the reality TV star, who have been dating since 2017, opted to enjoy a weekend getaway instead of attending. It wasn't anything against Matt and Karen, but it just made it more comfortable for the kids and for the guests. Chris told us weekly in November ahead of their wedding special, Amy and Chris happily ever after. You know that they're not wishing us the best deal of a life of happiness in front of Matt. Especially for the kids, that would have been awkward for them. I was planning to have our wedding somewhere else. I had a couple of venues that I was thinking of and everything, but the farm was always on the rudder. It was like plan B, Amy told the outlet. In the end, the farm really worked out because it gave us time to decorate a few days prior. So in the end, the farm, you know, was really the perfect venue. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.